season five of The Score, the Team Roping Journal's podcast, where we cover the roping industry from top to bottom. This is where the team roping world talks. We talk through tough subjects, we talk big wins, and we talk real issues affecting the community. I'm your host and editor of the Team Roping Journal, Chelsea Schaefer. Hey everyone, welcome to The Score. It's been a long week and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention that our entire team sits absolutely heartbroken at the happenings in Uvalde, Texas, where we know so many of our ropers and listeners live and have been affected by the horrible mass shooting at Robb Elementary School. It's always our hope that roping, our magazine, our podcasts, and videos are a welcome distraction from the real world, but something so brutal happens every now and again that we have to stop and take notice, bow our heads, and say a prayer, and gosh knows whatever else that we could possibly do right now. The loss of 21 lives in Texas is absolutely one of those times. If you're in that community and you happen to hear this, please know that we're sitting with you through this immeasurable pain. Okay, now to today's episode. Things are a bit different. I got to stay in Colorado with my family last week while our digital editor, Jenna Link, and the host of the Breakdown podcast, Casey Allen, went to the Women's Rodeo World Championships in Fort Worth on our behalf. They both, and separately, got to visit with the Women's Rodeo World Championship team ropers, Kylie McLean and Megan Gunter. McLean, originally from Canada, but now based in Arizona, and Gunter, who's from Idaho, are best friends who together won $120,000 with a 6.6 six five second triple crown of rodeo round run in the cowtown coliseum at the fort worth stockyards jenna and casey conducted great interviews with lots of different content in each so we're dropping them to you back to back today hope you enjoy Today's episode is brought to you by Farnham. I'm going to tell you more about them at the commercial break, but just know it is fly season and today's commercial is going to be all about fighting bugs. I'm here with Kylie McLean and Megan Gunter, who just won the Women's Rodeo World Championship. How are you feeling, you guys? Oh, we're so excited. Yeah. Over the moon. Talk me through the week. Your guys' game plan, how are you feeling past couple days? My game plan was to do what the steer allowed us to do. Kylie scored great all week. Uh, we did flip the barrier, but that steer kind of didn't move as strong, but all we had to do was get him caught. We were in a good spot after two, so we just got the third one caught, and then really just kind of reactive to the steers. Last year um, when we went to Vegas, we were both riding borrowed horses because Red Cloud was sore and Megan's horse was, like, was sore too. And so it was fun to come knowing that we're riding our number one yeah. horses, you know. So and I just wanted to catch those steers sharp mm-hmm. and handle them for her. And she has been healing so well. Tell me about roping in the WCRA and women's rodeo yeah, world championships. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh-huh. I mean, we're so fortunate to be able to do something like this mm-hmm. for women. Um, so we just feel real lucky to awesome. be a part of it. And all that money they put up, like this is life changing. Yes. We're going to take a break from this episode to talk to you about Farnham. Bugs really suck. I have tried so many sprays and found that those alone just don't work. Thankfully, I've discovered Farnham's no-fly zone to help rid my barn of those annoying, filthy, disease-carrying flies, ticks, and mosquitoes. With Farnham's three-stage approach of block, repel, and reduce, which means using different products for specific scenarios, you can set yourself up for success. For example, I physically block flies using a super mask, repel flies with my favorite fly spray, and actually reduce the number of flies I'm dealing with by using their feed-through fly control simplify. 
To learn more and start your own no-fly zone, go to Farnham.com, that's F-A-R-N-A-M.com, and download a free copy of the Horse Owner's Guide to Creating Your Own No-Fly Zone. Again, that's F-A-R-N-A-M.com. Farnham, our partner in fly control. How you guys feeling? So excited. <laughs> Wait, this which one's which? Hold on, I can't see your back. Yeah, I'm Kylie. You're Kylie. Okay. Megan. You're Megan. Okay. All right, Kylie, talk to me about your journey to this point, your journey in the sport of rodeo. What does it look like? Did you ever think you'd be here? Yeah, I knew because, I mean, we love to rope and we team rope and that's what I just train and sell rope horses. So my biggest thing was to come here and prove ourselves that we can do it and I mean this is what I do every day so super excited ride a horse you know that you absolutely love and Mm -hmm. and it's awesome to do it with one of my best friends I mean I love her so it's awesome (laughs) yeah even more now but this was our goal um we wanted to come here and do it so we worked to it she went home she practiced I practiced we have our number one so we just yeah. And, and then did you guys come in pro or challenger? Pros. Pros. Okay, yeah. just make it clear. Um, and then tell me about the head work. You're header? No. I'm the header, yeah. Head. So this is Red Cloud. I've had him for probably like four years now. Um, I bought him out of Amarillo. He was a wheat pasture horse. They headed on him a little, and then I took him, and he just, I'm never selling him. <laughs> but I love him. I call him, he's like my wiener dog, but he's a horse, so, yeah. And that was his registered and barn name again? Um, so, I don't know his registered name. I know he's got Hancock like four times on his paper, so he's just a really tough horse, yeah. but he makes it easy. He scores good, runs up their hard rates. Yeah. Gives Megan good handles. I mean, he really handles cattle good so yeah just awesome excited all right talk to me about your journey here what's this feeling like it's incredible Kylie and I have been jackpotting the, uh, in the winter in Arizona I stay down there in the winter and we just kind of nominated here and there and ended up having some luck and so um, like I told them I don't really I haven't healed a whole lot um, just because I'm the designated header everywhere I go and then my head horse is down right now and I was I had the opportunity to heal quite a bit this winter and this horse is really special uh my grandpa bought him as a two-year-old he's now 21 and I headed and healed on him here his name's crop he's got a crop out of his ear so that's what my grandpa named him and my dad's good head horse died when I was in high school and this horse had never been headed on he's like well try this one and it's a fit and grandpa gave him to me so he's super special so he's about probably about done so it was really incredible to get a win on him that's awesome how tough was the roping here this week it was it was tough because the that catch pins on the right and so all those steers want to veer right but if you push them left you mess your header up there's no room right there so it was really hard I did a terrible job hazing for her but she ran over there and got them and we did it we got it done we got it done yeah. and what was it like just competing against all the shirts I mean it was like a who's who in the team roping like, yeah, I, yeah it was just, incredible how was the Those... atmosphere in the pen too like the girls seem to have a really good yeah everyone gets going. along and yeah. everyone says you know right before all three of us went in everyone says good luck you know everybody wants everybody to win you yeah. know and so it's just fun it's fun Awesome. Anything else, you guys, about you, your horses, your roping, you guys want me to make sure I include? Probably just my parents. Thank my parents for providing the opportunity to grow up in in this world, in this lifestyle. And the WCRA for all they've done and having a vision and working towards it. Providing something for us. I don't rodeo Mm full-time. What do you do? I'm an insurance adjuster. And, I mean, that was a choice of mine to not... I didn't know if I wanted to do what it took to go full time. And so to provide an opportunity like this, is, it's incredible. Awesome. And I want to thank my mom. I mean, she gave up her whole life for us so we could ride the best horses, go to all the ropings. I'm from Canada okay. originally. Yes, yeah, so I'm from Albert, Alberta. Right? Alberta from Nanton. Yeah. So um, mom and she let us, we came down to school down here. And then when I went to Arizona for the first time, I knew that's where I needed to be. And then I want to thank my best friend, Aaron. Hughes, she comes with me everywhere, keeps me grounded, keeps us going, looks after us. So just every, I, and thank, it, I mean, we have a ton of people that are behind us. So I want to thank all them know. too. Awesome. So. Awesome.